Hello everybody, welcome to this instruction video. In this video I'll be showing you how to make block 3 for the Circles of the Sun crochet along. I'll be using cotton 8 yarn and a 3mm crochet hook. The original pattern for this design you can find on the designer's website, which is Lilla Bjorn Crochet. I'll also put a link to exactly where you can find the original pattern and we're making block 3. So I'll be taking you step by step through this sunny design and I hope this is a useful video for you and thank you for watching. Round 1, we're again starting with a magic ring and we're going to work du double crochets in the ring, 12 in total. So the first one is a chain Two, just like before and now we work 11 more double crochets in the ring and I'll show you how to close this with a needle join using a needle and in the next round I'll show you how to close a needle join using your hook so that goes one two three of the eleven Four, ten, and then this is number eleven. So plus that chain two gives you twelve. I'm going to close the magic ring by pulling tight. Like so then we cut off and pull through. And let me just quickly find my needle. Which I of course did not. There you go. Put your needle on your hook. So through the, this is the chain two here. So through that first stitch, pull through, and then enter in through the top of the stitch. See how I have it there at the top. If you look at it from this side, see it like this. You can really enter into your magic ring stitches already, like so, and pull through. And then just fashion it a little bit, especially the first one. You really need to just fashion a bit because it's so uh, so small still. And then you can work away your tail, and you're done round one and you have 12 stitches here in total. Round two. For this round we're going to be working two double crochets in each and every stitch. So we're making an increase. You can start in any position you like and we're also going to not be working in the entire stitch but only in the back loops. So take note increasing only in the back loops here. So I have my hook here on the back loop of any stitch, doesn't matter which stitch, and pick up a loop. Chain 2, this is for your first double crochet and then work a second double crochet in that same stitch. you're going to continue like this all the way around. So in the back loop of each and every stitch, so I have the back loop there, work a double crochet and also a second. So two double crochets on the back loop of each stitch. Go all the way around and then I'll show you how to close with an invisible join using your hook. worked 12 um, times 2 double crochets, so that's 24 in total. You cut off your yarn and open up the stitch where you just were. To close, go to the first proper stitch, so not the chain 2, but the stitch directly next to it. Pick up and pull through. 
then through the back loop of your last stitch pick up that loop again and pull through. That completes your invisible join. You can either work away this thread or hold it to the back of your work and work over it in the next round. I'm just going to shape it a little bit especially these first few rounds you still need to help a little bit. And that completes round two. Round three, I'm going to start in any of the second of the double crochet increases. So in this second double crochet in the back loop and I have a new color yarn. Attach the yarn with a slip stitch and to start to repeat we make two single crochets. So that's one, your first one is of course a chain one and two. Only working in the back loops. Now we're going to be making a treble two together and we're going to be working them on the front loops of row one and we're going to make them in the first loop is, um, leg is going to be directly underneath the start of this repeat unit so that's in this loop here so note not the loop where you are at the moment because that's that would be this loop but the loop just before that and then skip a loop and then this loop will be the second one in which we're going to make the treble two together so in these two loops here so that is twice over one two and then come down from bottom to top and you will have to um, just fold your work slightly to get under this first loop there we go pick up your yarn and take off two times to bring you up to your working level. That's your first leg of your treble two together. Now again twice over. Skipping this loop here you're going for the next loop which is this one. Like so and pick up and take off two times. You have three loops on your hook. Take them all off. I'm going to come back up. Not skip any stitches. So this was the last stitch worked in, so now we're going to go for this stitch here in the back loop and work a single crochet. On the next stitch I'm going to make an increase. So those are two single crochets on the one stitch. And that completes your repeat unit. This you're going to do all the way around. I'll show you the repeat one more time. So we start with two single crochets. Note you're making two here. It's an easy mistake to make is just to make one here. Two single crochets like so. And then again going to work a treble. Two together and the first leg of the treble is going to be in the same stitch as we already have a leg here. Because remember we started the, um, this repeat. This is the first stitch of the repeat. If you go down, this is then the loop you're going for. Skipping this loop and here is the second leg of the treble two together. So that's twice over. Then come down and into that loop. There we go. And make one two times. You'll notice, make sure that you're really next to this this, um, this leg that you're not on the other side of it so that you really have them both nicely positioned and then you're going to do it a second time that second leg twice over skip this stitch here this loop and for that loop and take off one two times three loops on your hook take them all off come back up not skipping any stitches. Let me just quickly see. Yes, there we are. That's the last stitch worked in. So now we're going for this stitch here. Especially make sure that you, that you don't skip any stitches. This one. And then in the next stitch work an increase. So that will be two single crochets in the same stitch. Like so. And those are your two first two V's worked. Continue like this, go all the way around. And your last V will of course be 
in we will work in this loop and this loop in which you will already have a V from this stitch so your last V will be in two stitches that already contain two legs so go all the way around and then close with a needle join on that first stitch round four this round we can make a background color so that we can work V's again we're going to start on the tip of any of these V's in the back loop of the double crochet of the treble two together on the back loop but in this round I'm also going to show you one of Tatiana's tips which is to when you have um, for example a double crochet or a treble crochet to also work in your so-called third loop if you look from the back you see an extra little loop here and to also work through that loop so take both of these together that way you secure your work um, or you actually you, you, you prevent making holes in your background um, rows like we're doing now this is of course not the case on single crochets but especially on these trebles or double crochets you can easily pull up those back loops very high and then you can get little holes there so I'm going to work through the back loop yes and that third loop so I've got two loops on my hook here but note the front loop is still open that loop there so I've got new color yarn and pick up my yarn and go chain two because I'm making an increase I also make a double crochet in the same stitch like so and then on the next two stitches work two single crochets oh sorry double crochets on those two single crochets that's one and That's your repeat unit. You're going to do this in total 12 times. So on the next stitch, you can work two double crochets. So that's one and two, and then two double crochets on two stitches. One and two. Now you're on this treble again this one here the start of a repeat unit so you want to make two stitches on there and now I'm not only going to take the back loop which is this stitch here but also going to look for that third loop so let me just get the gray yarn out of the way so it is that loop also you see those two loops those are the ones you're going for and one and two double crochets then again two double crochets on two stitches so by taking in that third loop especially on double crochets and um, treble crochets you really prevent these big holes which can sometimes happen especially if you tend to crochet rather loosely so continue like this make an increase two, so that's two in one and then two on two stitches continue like this go all the way around and close with a needle join in the beginning round five this round is slightly complicated because you're making again V's but you're making them in two different um, ways skipping stitches you're going to start on any double crochet increase that's in a treble so you need this increase here and not this one here that's here in between so the one here on top of a treble and you're going to take the second of um, um, of, of these two double crochets back loop get my yarn and attach now we're going to work single crochets, four of them. So that's one, two, three, 
at four. Do you remember again that the first trip, um, double crochet was a chain one. So we're going to now make the treble two together and I'll just quickly show you exactly where we're going to work it. You see here these two, this increase in round three, you have two stitches together. You're going to go for the first loop, so that's this one, of these this increase from round three. So that's going to be the first position of your V. You're going to skip this loop here and then you're going to go for this one. That's going to be the second position of the V. So these two loops we're going to work our V in. So they are treble two together. So that's twice over for the treble. And then I'm just going to come down so in that first loop so that's this one so make sure not not that one it's this first one here into that loop you're going from bottom to top oh, sorry I just can't ah, there we go <laughs> it's just slightly too tight that uh, that front loop and take off one two times by doing so you're bringing it up to your current working level twice over, skip this stitch from round three, so this loop, and go to the next one, which is that one, which is uh, notably easier, and one, two times, and take them all off. That's your first V completed. We're not going to skip any stitches on round four, so here, up here, not going to skip any stitches. So that was the last stitch worked in, so immediately on the next stitch, is this one here, work four single crochets. That's one, two, three, and four. And now we're again going to be making a V, and this time we're going to be making it in the stitch where we just um, made the V, so that's going to be this one here. And then you're going to skip three stitches, so one, two, three loops, and then this loop is the next position, is going to be the second position of the V. And you see that this position here is the same as that position, it's the first of this increase here, so that's position, so that. That also, of course, brings you to the start of your next repeat unit. So you can see the logic that's uh, that's in here. So again, twice over. And pick up a loop. And bring up to where you are right now. So that's one, two times. Again, twice over, so skip one, two, three positions, and then that is the f which is again a f the first of an increase from round three. Take off one, two loops, take them all off in one go, and now you're again at the beginning of your next repeat unit. Just quickly show you the beginning of the next repeat. Come back up, do not skip any stitches. So your next stitch is going to be this one here. You're not skipping any stitches. Just like so. you can see that you're, there was a last stitch worked in. So that's the next one. Four single crochets. That's one, two, three. And four, and of course, if you want to, you can also here do Tatiana's tip. So we'll also work in that third loop if you want to. That's going to be that loop back there, which I haven't done now, but you can of course also do that. There's absolutely nothing keeping you from doing that. Again, the treble two together, so it's twice over, and now it's of course going to be in the same position where this um, leg already is. through there two times 
then twice over and then skip one loop so that's going to be this loop here and then this is the position there we go so you can see how you've skipped one loop on round three so you skip that loop there in the middle and then it's one two times taking off and take them all off come back up do not skip any stitches. See, that's the last stitch you worked, so that's the one we're now going for. And then that is one, two, three, four single crochets. And now again a treble. I'll just quickly complete this repeat because there's nothing. That prevents me from doing so. So that's the first leg, which is again in the position where you already have the treble. T twice over, skip one, two, three loops, and then that is the second position. One, two, take them all off. And that completes the second repeat unit continue like this all the way around making wide V's like this where you have three stitches in between and narrow V's where you only have one stitch that you're skipping in between and make single four single crochets in between your V's go all the way around and close with a needle join on that first single crochet round six this round we're going to work starts on any of the wide double um, V's from the previous rounds because you see here you have um, narrow ones with only one skip and broad ones so on the wide ones in that treble on the back loop attach your yarn and of course you can also choose to work in the um, third loop also pick up your yarn and we're going to make a double in, um, double crochet increase so it's going to be chain two for the first one and then a double crochet and now on the next two stitches on sorry the next four stitches I should say work four double crochets so that's one so it's basically until you get to the next treble that's basically what it comes down to two three and four that's your repeat unit you're going to do this all the way around see now you're on the next treble so again so I've also got the third loop there now so that's one and two double crochets so that's an increase and then one double crochet on each of the next four stitches so you're going to continue like this, go all the way around and you're going to do the repeat 12 times in total and then you close with a needle join on your first double crochet stitch to cover your chain 2 like so continue like this and close with a needle join at the beginning round 7 this round we're going to be squaring up um, the mandala going to start on any double crochet increase from the previous round so it doesn't matter where you start I'm going to take this point you see here's the increase the two double crochets and we're going to start on that second double crochet in the back loop new color yarn attach with a single crochet now this squaring up is exactly the same as all the previous ones we've done one single crochet or one, chain one sorry I should say for the first single crochet and we're going to work six single crochets in total so that's two three four five and six all working in back loops six then one half double crochet 
two double crochets. That's one and two. Two treble crochets. That's twice over. And one, two. Take off three times and work a second one also on that second loop. And now we're going to work two trebles in one stitch. So on the next stitch we're going to make two trebles in the same loop. And this is exactly the same as we've done with squaring up all previous squares in this crochet along. And, oh wait, that one went wrong. There we go. Two. Chain two. So that's the first half of the corner, chain two, and now do exactly the same as you did here, but then the other way. So two trebles in the next stitch, one, two, and that's the second treble, and now on the next two stitches work a treble on each. one and the second one two three times so those are all the trebles and now we're going to make two half double sorry two double crochets two double crochets on two stitches and then a half double crochet and then you're at the same point as you were here before starting Oh, sorry, then my yarn rolls into view. So there's the same point here as you are there. So now we're going to make again six single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five. And of course six and now you would again make a half double crochet just exactly the same as this half double here so continue like this go all the way around to all four corners and close with a needle join on that first stitch round eight last crochet um, regular crochet round after this we still have an optional surface crochet rounds but Okay, round eight. I'm going to start on the first of these six single crochets that you have on any edge. So it doesn't matter where you start, you can start here or here. I'm going to start on that first single crochet, back loop only. That's the, there, and attach my yarn. I'm going to like 12 single crochets on the edge. Of course the first one is a chain one. It's one, two, three, four, and you continue until you have twelve. So there's five, six, seven. This is number 11 and then 12. Now you should have one stitch left before you get to the corner and on that stitch you're going to work a half double crochet. Again still only in the back loops, half double crochet and then in the chain space itself work two double crochets so one two chain two and two more double crochets that is one and 
Now for the next edge, just to get you started, again a half double crochet. So I'm going to do exactly the same but in the opposite direction. And then single crochets, you're going to make six, which will bring you to the repeat, start of the repeat again. But if you're going from corner to corner, that will of course be 18 single crochets. Six here, and then the next six, which are the same as these six. Where am I now? I lost count. One, two, three, four, yes. Five and six. And now number seven here is again on this first single crochet, which is the same as this stitch here. So that's your corner made. Repeat this on all four corners and close with a needle join at the beginning. Almost done. If you want, you can make a round of surface crochet slip stitches around round six. This is what I have in the green here. I'm going to show you how to do that using a yellow yarn. Start in any position you like, and we're going to work between the posts of the stitches. You can see here how I'm between the posts. So, any position you like, enter your hook between the two posts and pick up your yarn from the back and bring it to the front. Now what we're going to do is you're going to go through the next two posts, see those two posts, pick up your yarn from the back and work a slip stitch. Again, through the pick up the yarn and slip stitch. You can see how I'm making chain stitches on top of my work. Important, don't pull these chains too tight because there is of course very little um, movement in slip stitches. Unlike for example a double crochet or a treble in which there's a lot of room for movement. So continue like this and then I'll show you how to make that last needle join. You can see the beautiful edge you're creating. So between the posts, pick up the yarn and pull through. And don't work these too tight. Almost round, making one and two more chain stitches. I'm going to not make this last one because that one we're going to do with the needle join. So I'm going to cut off my yarn and open up um, your stitch. This one I'm quickly going to do with the needle because with this surface crochet I've noticed that just works easier for me but if you'd like to do it with the hook that's of course also fine. Through that first stitch and then of course back into the first stitch and immediately through to the back. See here how you're making that last stitch. This here is the needle join. You can see that's hardly, uh, hardly visible. That's a needle join. And then on the back, I am literally going to tie a knot through the first and second thread. And then you can work these tails away. And then that completes the block for week three of this crochet along. You've made lovely star um, shaped um, design, a nice and sunny design. I hope this was a useful video for you and thank you for watching.